In the best case scenario, you are converting close to 4% of your traffic to email subscribers, which is very good number. But majority of brands typically convert around two and a half percent. That's why we fell in love with retention.com, the tool we are creating this course about to show you how to use the tool, how to set it up and how make you successful using the tools. But with this tool, you can increase your email list growth from 10 to 15 times. We call this course Retention Mastery. And there will be nine videos in this course. We have a special playlist on YouTube channel, so you can go and watch it one by one. Under this video, you will find the link. There's only four levers you can pull to grow and scale your e-commerce business. First one, is to increase traffic to your site. So you can do it organically with SEOs, organic social media, or you can use paid to drive traffic. You can use Facebook, Google, and so forth. The second method is to increase conversion on your website, where all those visitors either making a purchase or they opting in for email or SMS or something else on your website. To increase average order value of those customers and fourth are to increase lifetime value. In this course, with this specific tool, retention.com, we will be talking how to pull the lever of increasing conversion rate on your website from web visitor to email subscribers. What is retention.com and why do you need this tool? So for me not to go uh, deep into technical aspects, it's basically people who are visiting your website and people who do not opt in for your emails, retention.com is able to find out on their backend what is the email of a specific visitor they adding their email to your database, to your ESP, to your email marketing service provider. It's either Clavio, Active Campaign, Mailchimp, HubSpot, and then automatically send them emails. As you can imagine, your conversion rate from web visitors to email subscribers can be increased from 2% to 20% or so forth. So you are growing your list much faster, which equals to more chances to sell to people, which equal to higher conversion from web visitor to purchaser. So now let's go to my computer and let's together create an account. Retention.com is not sponsoring this video, but we are affiliated. And if you want to support uh, our channel and want us to continue producing the free content to help your business to grow, please go to flowing.com slash retention. It will cost you nothing, but it will help us to have more resources to develop our free content for you. Let's go on my computer to flowing.com slash retention. It will redirect you to the landing page. So let's put in all the information. Okay, and then click submit. Okay, so we are now in uh, retention.com account and I'll show you actually one of our client's accounts because our account is empty. There's no data since retention.com is not recommended to use for B2B, mostly recommended for B2C e-commerce industry. So now we are in one of our client's accounts and we can see uh, in a dashboard two things. They have two products. So reclaim feature as well as a growth feature. Growth feature, as I explained in the beginning of this video, somebody visiting your uh, website, not opting in for your newsletters, but you're still able with retention.com able to get their email and you are able to send them the email with a reclaim feature. When they opting in, the special cookies is added to their uh, to their either browser or mobile device and you are able your email marketing service provider is able to track their behavior on website however that tracking is limited to seven days was reclaim i believe it's 30 days or more or maybe even unlimited and you are able to track like um, multiple devices if somebody switched from desktop to mobile or tablet 
and why it's extremely important because you want when you have some kind of automation abandonment card browser abandonment you do not want to send the mixed messages if they logged in on a desktop and they abandoned their card and they went from mobile they did the different actions you don't want to send them two separate uh, automations um, uh, asking them to do something different so as you can see here in um in their reclaim flows they made thirteen thousand dollars from add to cart and uh, from browser abandonment viewed product three thousand uh, almost four thousand dollars which is amazing results only for one month so the total reclaim uh, revenue is seventeen thousand dollars and as you can see in the growth section they were able to get almost 9,000 uh, new subscribers and get $12,000 in attributed revenue. So in total, it's what, 28,000 in total and what they are paying for this tool. I can tell you that like return on investment, it's um, extremely, extremely high. And there's also, as you can see here, the they have a feature of Meta Audience where you can feed all those emails to your Meta account and retarget them. But for this client, it's not activated. So also in the, on the right side, you can see how they show you the growth from the beginning of the months to the end and how the revenue attributed is there to the growth or to reclaim. Down below, you can see the breakdown of reclaim and specific add to cart view to product per day how many orders were placed and how many how much revenue was placed and also for revenue the same thing how many new contacts were added and how many new meta potential contacts were added but since it's not activated for this account, I cannot tell you more about this. Also, retention.com does integrate with a major popular uh, e-commerce tools. And yeah, so here's the entire list. And if you cannot find what you need, you are able to still to integrate through Zapier with thousands of different apps. Also on under context is basically show you per day how many new contacts were added and you can if you want be curious you can click on the number and it will open pen you the exact uh, list of those contacts list of emails that retention was able to recover and also on which landing pages they were able to recover those emails okay so now let's talk about the code snippet that you will be added to your website when you install on your shopify it will be automatically installed but let me sh go or let's go over the uh, settings you want to set up or leave it as default so first of all you need to have the domain where you want to collect that information so uh, in our case it's a flowium and also we have some staging website not sure why we have it there but again if you want to have it both but it's it's supposed to have it's supposed to be your main domain of your website Se second collection page and there is rules and there's two settings you can do first it's um, after how many page visits you want to collect their information and se second after how many seconds on the website you want to collect information you can set it yes or no uh, pick only one or keep have them both so by default it's one for page views and after after collect uh, after a specific number of second it's uh, it says five so this is two things you can do next thing it goes hand to hand with a suppression list here and uh, suppression rules here so what is a suppression list first let me explain it before we talk about the rules so you are paying per collected contact inside of retention.com you don't want to pay for some contact that you will collect it anyway let's say they downloaded your freebie they started a checkout in any case you don't need retention to collect that email so retention come up with this solution to suppress those people how, how does it work so basically you set some rules telling retention.com that like hey if any of those rule applies do not charge me for those contacts and they will be added to the suppression list to this list you see right on my screen and it will be subtracted from your total what you're paying on monthly basis so let's go back to code snippet and see what kind of se uh, settings we have so let's click on the added here and as you can see here, any contacts which have came from some kind of email, either from your ESP or something else, where they have in their UTM email, 
they will be automatically suppressed. Second thing is automatically it will be suppressed if they opted in through any of your form on the website, pop out, embedded for a flyer out, etc. Also, you can exclude from specific URLs. In many cases, after customers subscribe for something or get something, they get redirected to either thank you page, confirmation page. So it nice to include that link here why because it will tell retention hey this only people whose information we already collected can land on this page so it will be automatically suppressed from retention and the last thing exclude people or suppress uh, contacts from specific sources for example if they follow you on instagram or youtube or tiktok and if you have specific utm and you don't want a uh, retention to charge you for those emails, for those contacts, you can include that UTM here in this box and it will be automatically excluded. And also there's trends, analytics. So how many people were added each day to your list, from which source, from which landing page, what kind of uh, inbox provider, Gmail, Yahoo, or something else, and on which days most of your contacts was were collected. To be honest, I personally don't know how to use this data yet. Uh, the, the hypothesis I have, so for example, like it might be helpful when you are writing ads in what time you want to drive traffic to your site because it looks like most likely they are um, visiting your site between certain um, hours. But again, I don't have a lot of knowledge about this feature. It's just good probably num numbers for you to have and you can spot some some trends and based on those spotted trends, you might have some different marketing strategies. Okay, so it's extremely important to mention and stress that you need you do need to update private policy on your website and give people a way to be able to opt out from this kind of tracking features of retention. However, what would they made very handy? They have exact copy that can you copy and paste to your website. However, they do strongly recommend to consult with your legal legal team with lawyer. If you don't have anybody, you can find somebody probably on a Fiverr to pay them a few hundred dollars to help you out or Google it. Also important, they providing you the link where people can click and opt out from retention tracking. And the last thing, we recently, we recently posted a video about uh, retention.com and one of our clients and we did a case study. So I went into details, I did deep analysis and calculations of that case study. So we'll add that case study at the end of this course, if you want to fast forward and check that uh, case study before you continue with this course, feel free to do it. But this is the end of the first video of this course and uh, stay tuned. We'll probably publish all the videos at once so you can jump to the next one and start setting up your account. In case you have any questions about this video or any future video, please leave them under this video and I will do my best to either answer myself or direct you to the right resources.